why do we have Christianity divided into 30,000 different denominations? Because it's throwing a dart blindfolded, and wherever the dart lands, you draw a bullseye around it. Everybody's claiming to know things that none of them know. But when you walk away from faith altogether, then suddenly something goes different. If you start following evidence instead of faith, now everybody's going back to the same one and only conclusion we all agree on and can demonstrate to be true. So you're saying blindfolded, throwing guards, you know, whatever we end up faith. being true. Faith, faith, faith. Is, faith is the most dishonest position it is possible to have. It is inherently auto-deceptive and cannot lead to truth because there's no way to define what is correct and what is false. So according to your worldview, how do you tell what is correct and what is false? How do you know what truth is? I've been, you know, this is what I've been trying right. to ask you. What, I, what I've been trying to answer over and over again is I've been successfully answering, you just haven't heard it yet. The truth is what the facts are. Repeat it back to me so I don't have to say it again. You are saying the truth is what the facts are, yes. but how do you but know what the facts are? But also because a fact, as I already told you, is a point of data that is objectively verifiable. Okay. By what? So so how do you know that objective? Even though he murdered the entire world. All could be imaginary. How do you know what is the truth? One of the things you should examine about your belief system is one of the first uh, arguments of apologetics against any kind of evidence yes. is that reality isn't real. But that wouldn't change anything. Your position would still be wrong even in that case. So if reality is real, I'm right, you're wrong. And if reality is not real, if we're all a brain into that, you're still wrong. But I have an ultimate standard no, you don't. from God. No, you don't. That it's how do you, know? you don't have a state. You don't have because you have how nothing many, that indicates how many what is right or what is wrong. Uh, nothing that says which is true or, 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 or what is what metaphorical and what is literal. You can't discern any of it. Without the scriptures, yes, you're right. It would all be arbitrary. With the scriptures, you are powerless. The scriptures offer you nothing. They are absolutely wrong about absolutely everything. Back to front, there is no truth in the Bible. Yeah, there's an Ethiopia somewhere, but that doesn't mean any of the stories that happened there. Happened. Yeah, there was a pilot. That doesn't mean anything that, that he did in the stories actually happened, or that he actually did them. The Bible says that you know there is truth. The Bible says that it is I do know there's truth, yes. And that truth is what we can objectively is, verify to be true. And that truth that you know is that God exists. No, no, that is not a truth. Truth is what the facts are. It's not a fact that God exists. Okay. According to God your is an empty assertion, not based on any fact. I'm going to keep pressing you on this. According to your worldview, what is truth? How do you discern what I, is I falsehood? I will what is repeat fact? now. I'm going, to, I'm going to have to get you to, understand, to repeat back these because this is going to be like the fifth time I've told you what you keep saying I haven't told you. The truth is what the facts are. Right? Yeah, what we can show to be true, right. objectively verify. That means not according to any one person's oh, opinion. Yeah. 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 So you can confirm with other people or with testing. But we could all be wrong, ultimately, right? How? Well, I'm asking, could we all be wrong? Isn't it possible that we could all, we should, could all be we a should assume, We should assume at all times that we could be wrong about any number of things because how are we ever going to improve if we think we're absolutely right? So what you're telling me now is you absolute be truth, wrong. If you claim absolute truth, you're lying to yourself. Is that absolutely you, true? Is, is what absolute truth? Yes. Yeah. So you if we don't claim absolute believe in truth, If we claim absolute truth, then we're fooling ourselves because you can't improve. Is that absolutely true? Yes. For logical reasons, you should understand. So you do believe in absolute truth? No, I don't. I said, you, what, what could be absolutely true? If you claim absolute truth, yes. What I'm trying to demonstrate is that your worldview is foolishness without God. Because I know you you're trying to demonstrate that and you're failing miserably and everybody else around you can see that, but you can't because you're deluded. You don't know the difference between the word true and the word truth. That's a problem for you. It's not a problem for me. Okay, I've been asking you what is truth. You've been repeating the answer over and over and over again, and then you ask me the same question as if you never heard a damn thing. Yeah, my morality the truth like is what the facts are. Truth and facts both the same in that they can be objectively verified. Not according to anybody's opinion, not according to my subjective conscience, but what I can verify to be true, either with other people or, more appropriately, through testing. But obviously, we have a much different way of thinking through things, and we have the same scientific we method. We have the no, you do not. So Absolutely we, not. So you have the exact opposite. So as a you have the exact opposite of science. Everything science is or does, faith does the exact opposite. So, so science cannot ever declare anything to be absolute truth. Period. That's first rule. Was that absolutely true? Yes. <laughs> 
Science Star cannot like say that anything is absolute truth. Stone and that is absolutely true. And it's not a contradiction. And everybody understands that. I'm going to have to protect the police system. Uh, science cannot assert. I just have a question. Did you think, when you came here, did you think his answers would be this well thought out? I've never met him before, but I know he's very intelligent, and I know that what he's saying is ultimately what he's come up in his mind. He's suppressing the truth and unrighteousness. What, what truth am I suppressing? That God exists. Wait, wait, wait. That That's a truth, which means, wait, wait, wait. The truth is that God exists. Can you show that to be true? Yes, absolutely. I have show, me the, show me the truth that God is. Show me the, the truth. The truth is what the facts are, right? Show me the fact that indicates God is true. Show me how we know that is true. Not just your empty assertion of, oh, I believe because I have a book of magic fables that are wrong about everything. Show me the truth. Show me the facts. Show me the indication that that's true. Okay. The first one I already said, we have general revelation. And that which is, is a subjective impression which contradicts every other religion. I know so many Hindus that say they have direct revelation. They have a better personal relationship with their God than you do. They've met him. The second one is our conscience. You don't have a first one. And they have a conscience too. Why does everybody of other That's the point. They do yeah. have a conscience. And that's what I'm trying to explain. Can because explain we're myself? innate. Because we're human. Because we're a social species. Because it evolved in us. And myself? you're trying to appropriate it. So you have evidence that I'm right, not you. That's, that's your second one. And your first one is evidence that I'm right, not you. So what is the indication that you're right? May I explain myself? Please. Thank you. So, the second one, as I was saying, is our conscience. And our conscience bears witness to the fact that there is right and wrong. Would you agree what, that murder is wrong? Yes, murder is objectively so, wrong. And so when God commanded people to murder, he was wrong. According to what standard, why is what The objective standard that murder is universally wrong. What objective standard? When, in according to your book of magic fables, God didn't come up with the, the, the murder is wrong thing until after Moses had already murdered an Egyptian and hidden the body. So mur he, murder was already wrong. So according to your magic fables, none of which actually happened, Cain lied to God about murdering his own brother. He already knew it was wrong. So what's the point? Murder is objectively wrong. The point Absolutely. is that morality does not come from God. Morality is a careful consideration of the rights and consequences of one's actions. That's how we knew murder was wrong before we made up a God to tell us so. But that doesn't make sense. I can do it. It does make sense when you realize that God is made up. And that if God is made up, we still make up our own rules. We determine that if we kill each other, we're, we're not going to benefit from this. This is actually to our own detriment. Why would I want to piss off everybody in my system of peers? There are judges about me. I would rather, I would rather show how I care for each other because this is going to mutually benefit everyone. When you are nice to people, people are nice to you. It's a basic rule. When you fuck over other people, they're going to fuck over you, and you're going to end up being ostracized. You're going to be banished. You're going to be killed. You're going to be eliminated from the gene pool one way or another. Until we end up with people that are that have this compassion, and then religion says, "Well, you because you have compassion, my magic imaginary friend, and I can prove my magic imaginary friend because I have a book of." fables that is wrong about everything that says so. You don't have truth in your Bible. There is none. There's nothing, nothing we can verify to be true in any of the stories in your book. How do you know? 20 years of experience. 20 years of challenging Christians. I know I agree with you. How do we have with this, but I'm still not getting a clear answer. What is truth? How do you know what is wrong? Could this woman get a clear answer from anybody? Uh, Maybe you have gotten very clear answers, and you're just rejecting them. Because I keep repeating the same answer. You don't have truth because you don't have anything that we can objectively verify to be true. I have a book. Sorry, Ken Ham, that doesn't work. Wait, we were talking about morals. You've heard of this guy named Aristotle, right? He's an ancient Greek philosopher. He wrote the first book in Western philosophy. I mean, Western philosophy was only invented by Socrates. He wrote it's called Nicomachean Ethics. He wrote this book in about 300 BC. How is it that Aristotle was able to codify, as in write down in a book, a system of ethics that still holds up pretty well today before Jesus? I would say that, first of all, it, before Jesus is a false yeah, statement. Jesus has always been. Well, I know and this ultimate standard of morality okay. has been before, before the creation. Before the Bible was written. Oh, sorry. 
There's another unsupported assertion. Okay. Okay. Wait, we don't have any facts. How do you know it's unsupported? Because there are no facts to support that up. Okay. What are your facts? How are they based on objective reality? If there is no objective reality, if there is no absolute. Okay. According to you, when was Jesus born? We're making no claims. I'm sorry, what? According to you, when was Jesus born? According to me, according to the Bible, and we use history to back this up. But what you can't do because the Bible says that he was born both before 4 BC and simultaneously born after. Okay. 4 AD, why, right? Why, according to your worldview, are contradictions wrong? If you use their word, contradiction in the Bible. Let's, I'll give you that. Let's say there are. Okay, you give, you give me that he was born okay. both before 4, uh, 4 yeah. BC I and mean, after 6 BC. No, no, no. This. Answer me. Why is it wrong if there he were was contradictions born. in the Bible? Prior to, even according to your own magic fables, which are all false about everything, before 4 BC, no Jesus. His statement is objectively, verifiably Why is correct. Why falsehood wrong? Because it's a lie, because it's the same thing as Why violence. Why is lying wrong, according because to your world? Because it's the same as violence. Society. You Why are is misleading. Wrong? The, I, I she, this is the person who thinks that no, no, she no, has I'm an trying, objective reality, or an objective see. morality. I'm trying, I'm to, trying get to get you, get you to see. Okay. I'm trying to get you to see. That's what she's telling me. Morality so, comes from consideration of the consequences of one's actions and the rights of the people involved. It's that simple. I'm going to go kill somebody, so what? Did so you, you, you violate that rights? person's? Sorry, what? Did you consider their rights? I, I don't care. I'm just going to kill them. Then you, it did not then you didn't do anything rights. moral. Right. So you're Why not do I being moral. What? Why do I have to care about their rights? Because it's in your best interest. Yeah. Why? Yes. I don't care. Because you're it's a social like species, which means it's that's innate. True, so. Unless yes, you're defecting. That's not true. No, no, I'll prove it. Yeah, in Nazi Germany, Hitler said it's okay to get, kill people because that was in his best interest. That was in his best interest. No, was yes, it was. Yes, it was. It doesn't matter. But when he killed people at that time, he said, we're doing right because it's what I want. Did he or did he not? But he's not, he's not he, observing their rights. It doesn't so matter. He, he, still, he still killed them. He, he did what was the so best they're, they're saying it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Be, 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 because, moral, because it only matters and what we pretend that our God said. Right. Here, here's, here's, here's the thing, okay? Number one, it's like I was talking to another one of your gentlemen. You go, I said, why do you lie? And he goes, well, tell me why you lie. Have you ever lied before? Have I ever? Yeah. I yeah. Why? Why? No, no. Be honest, child. Everybody I used that as a kid. You, 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 you have lied as an adult. Yeah, and you knew better, I've right? Been Why do you lie? Too, but I've learned the lesson on both. Lies and violence are the same thing. Yeah. And you still do it. Both violating somebody else's rights. But you still do it. And you can't if I mislead you, if I say something is the truth, you know like wrong, God exists, and, you and it's do not it. a really? verifiable fact. You can't sit here and tell me you haven't lied as an adult, because then I'm going to call you a liar. So I don't know you. I mean, I respect you. I'm either way. Yes, yes, because you know you have. Let's answer the question. It's a yes or no. So let me ask you this. you lie? Let me ask you this. So this seems to be a Kantian view of ethics. Okay. Yep. So if a murderer comes up to you yep. and says, I would like you to tell me where the next person I'm going to murder, where they are, do you tell that person the truth or do you lie to them? No, I, I, I don't lie to them. I won't, I, won't, I, won't, I, won't, I won't tell them the truth. Right. You no, lie. No. there are times when it's ethically... No, no, no. It's still wrong. It, it might be ethically right, but it's still wrong. It is still wrong to lie under, 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 under all... <laughs> You gotta understand who's setting the law. Who's setting the law here? It's the God that you don't believe in. It's the God that I can't set the law and you can't set the law because we're flawed. Because we're flawed. Why do you lie to him? You have yet to tell me why you lie. Why you, you lie? Other I don't very make believe we're the people. Give me a reason. We have to make our own ethical no choices. Is it, it wrong to it's lie in your world? In some cases, yes. In some okay, cases, let's, no. let's go. Let's, let's go in the case you say yes. facts that are not okay. facts. The murderer comes up to me and says, "I need to find my next victim. Tell me where they are." No, I lie to them because that's the right thing to do. How about this? Okay, let's say you're the murderer. If you ask me that question, why come I can't say I'm not going to do it? There you go. There you go. Do you really think that morality doesn't exist without God? The book, the book of the first book of morality was written before the Bible, 300 years before the Bible was supposedly written. God is the standard. It's all written down by Aristotle. Here's what you don't understand. You can't set the standard, and I can't set the standard because it's not a standard. It is a standard. That's the difference. It's not a standard. God says you do what I say, or you suffer the consequences. That is not a standard. We have to make our own choices, and you're still making your own choices because you have to interpret said standard. Hitler made his own choices, but it's wrong according to you and me. Did you know? 
that Hitler's birthday was celebrated every year in great fanfare in the Catholic Church. You know that? I'm not a Catholic, so it doesn't matter. Did you know that? It doesn't matter to me. Hitler was a man of God. No, he was not. And See, men of God can do evil things. No, 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 no. I, I, well, I agree with you. Men of God no, can and do, Jesus do evil you things. Jesus said, you obey my commandments. No, Hitler was not a man of God. That's not Which, true. Well, well, that, well, then how did he get his That's birthday celebrated true. in the Catholic Church? <laughs> Yes. You know what? So what? That means I, nothing I, to me. How did he get that, that, that means that okay, means cool. nothing to me because he was not a man of God. Well, so, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. No. So what? It doesn't matter. You can tell, you can celebrate Gandhi's birthday in the Catholic Church. He still was not a man of God. That does not. No. 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 Not, not according, no. According to his actions. According to, you, according to his beliefs, he was a man of God. That is not for me to answer. No, it's not. No, it's not. But, but God says. Don't oh, do it. So sure he does. Sure he does. You don't. Really? I might. Well, not to you. That's fine. That's fine. So you, are, you, are you telling me that it's right to kill six million people? If there's a world in which prophecy comes Based on what? Based on what? You have no truth. You have no knowledge. Who, who read that standard? Because Hitler thought he was doing right. Well, wait, you, don't, you and I don't make the law because we're flawed. Get better. Don't continue your false that's right. We, we have to, and, that, and that's the whole point with Christianity. You have to have somebody above no, your moral you don't. standard. No, That's the whole point. There is nobody above. There doesn't how do you, you know that? That's another false Because I'm allowed to be a good person without all.